barbershop conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. So I want to talk about something. And let this be a lesson learned to every promoter out there. Lou DeBella has learned it. But more importantly, since Eddie Hearn is a hot button right now with Eddie Hearn and I, I'm going to talk about Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn has made more money than probably he's ever made consecutively in the history of boxing because of one man, Al Heyman. And the genius about him is he was humble enough to follow him and listen to him. You know what I mean? He is, Eddie Hearn is silently becoming Al Heyman of the UK. <laughs> He's following his blueprint. He's doing the same thing with all his fighters. He's doing the same thing Kell Brook did um, with uh, similar to Floyd Mayweather's route. You know, you align yourself with the sanctioning body, sanctioning bodies. You align yourself with lead promoters, similar to what Osadale Hoya did with Floyd Mayweather. And uh, you let him lead you. You know, Golden Boy was thriving when Al Heyman was leading him. Eddie Hearn is thriving because Al Heyman is leading him. And these are facts. You know, if you look at um, the majority of his cards, I know you're going to say Kell Brook, Triple G, and other fights too. But if you look at the majority of his cards, It has been Al Heyman fighters. And and in order for him to get these fighters, he has to align himself with Al Heyman. You know what I mean? And come to some terms of agreement. You understand what I'm saying? So uh, this is not a bash. I'm giving him credit. I'm giving him absolute great credit because he's doing something that uh, the she-male wouldn't do. He's doing something that uh, Bob Aaron wouldn't do. You know, they called him. They, they said they'll never do business with him. They tried to sue the man for $400 million. And then the genius of Al Heyman is he waited to the last minute, right? Waited to the last minute and pulled up and allowed them emails to come forward. And now def because the credibility of the lead witness <laughs> is not credible, which is the she -mail. You understand what I'm saying? And uh, if you put if you put that she male on on trial, as I told you guys before, oh, have you done drugs? Oh, have have you ever been indicted for rape? Uh, have you uh, have you ever had sex with an underage girl? Uh, have you ever have you ever been pulled over for a DUI? Have you ever done cocaine? Now let's now let's get into your story. <laughs> now let's get into why you're really so it makes you guys understand what I'm saying Eddie Hearn is a clean man in terms of the law as far as I know I haven't really dug any have really dug him up there's no no need to but how he's how he's handling um uh how he's handling Anthony Joshua and Kell Brook is similar to how they handled Floyd Mayweather you understand what I'm saying and that's the, and, that, and that's the truth of it, you know. They have different personalities, obviously, but the backroom, the backroom work. He's listening and following Al Heyman, and he's a. I'm not saying everything he does is because of Al Heyman, but when he, he he knows the genius of Al Heyman, and he's allowing he's allowing Al Heyman's genius to penetrate beyond his common sense. So I give Eddie Hearn credit. I'm excited to interview. I don't know when that may be, but. Uh, Congratulations. You are the only man to get it. And I would say probably because you were born in another country. So you're not born with the systemic uh, racist umbrella above your head. You understand what I'm saying? That's clouding your judgment. You know, um, I know they have, Af they have, I know there's Africans that migrate to the UK. I've been over there and uh, they are the quote unquote bottom dwellers to some degree. But, uh, He's listening to Al Heyman, and it's working for him. So Barbershop Conversations, feel free to hit the subscribe button. This is something that Bob Aram is, is going to have to learn to do, and this is something that that she is going to have to learn to do if he wants to succeed because it's only a matter of time before Canelo loses. He's not the kind of fighter that can go undefeated the rest of his career. He's not. He doesn't have the discipline to do it. And what I mean by discipline, box. And you guys know oh, he's a hell of a boxer. No, he's a stationary boxer. So he's going to get caught. 
All right. He, he's not flea footed like a, a Floyd Mayweather. You know what I mean? Uh, he's not flea footed like Roy Jones. You know, Father Time caught up with Roy Jones and the weight fluctuation caught up with him as well. So, um, but um, Canelo will lose. I don't know when. I'm not hating on him. But he will lose. And uh, Eddie Hearn knows this. This is genius. He took him up to Triple G for a free fight, which is basically a free payday. You know, I, as I told you guys, I thought that fight was fixed. The moment Triple G got in trouble, they were going to stop the fight to preserve him. He quit standing up. And if you look at, if you look at his, his physical attributes, he can withstand a lot more punishment, right? But they said he had an orbital bone. But he may have had that injury prior to walking into the ring. I don't know that. But anyway, congratulations. This is about Eddie Hearn being being smart enough to follow the genius, uh, Al Heyman. And uh, please tweet this to Eddie Hearn. <laughs> Says he's going to be my best friend as now. A, I'll interview him sometime this year, I'm sure. So anyways, Barbershop Conversations. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. And uh, talk to you guys soon. And, and let's be clear. Uh... In addition to the genius, let's talk about how he's able to manipulate these these advertisers. Not manipulate, that's the wrong word, but uh, um, convince these, convince the public over there that he's the only show in town. Man, Eddie Hearn, you did it. And it's because you listen, a part of your success is attributed to Al Heyman. And that's all I'm going to say. So barbershop conversations, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.